Hello friends, in this video tutorial, let us see the concept of scheduled queue processing. Now this will be the second video tutorial for the SSH deployment part. Now for the purpose of this tutorial, let us go to SSMS. Now let us go to the server's properties. So immediately after our first deployment is complete, which is usually without processing, we let's go to the server properties and let's configure some of the properties, right? So ideally what we should do is, we sh if we want logging, then we should have our logging related server properties called configured. Okay, so we have specified this database name for our server logging. Also the log directory is the one where the logs will be created. And force commit timeout. This is the value with the help of which we specify that SSAS should not uh, wait infinitely for the retrieving data from the OLTP. Okay, so if there are some locking issues in OLTP, our SSAS server cube will not wait infinitely while processing the cube. Okay, also data directory is the is uh, specifies the place where the data will be stored. Now, ideally, when we deploy the uh, the SQL cube, SSS cube in our database, it is usually without processing for the first time. So what we have to do, we have to come to the process tab and we usually we have to do the full processing for the first time. We can also go for clear option if you are not sure about the current state of the database. So once we go for the full option, we can go to the change settings and usually we specify for the first time full load, we specify parallel as the option, which means our all dimensions will be loaded parallelly, processed parallelly, and after that, all, all the partitions of the cubes will be processed parallelly. Also, let's click process affected objects. Now, it will affect the, it will process the affected objects. Uh, so, we can also change the behavior for the error logging, right? Error processing. So, let's say we don't want to stop for one on the first error. We can specify specify the value to be two. We can say ignore error for some of the settings like key not found and all, right? Also, we can specify error log path over here, right? So these are the some of the settings that we can make. Uh, then let's generate the script and let's process the cube, right? So we are processing the cube, full cube with the full processing for the first time. And the processing has succeeded. Now, Let's go and view the script. So this is the script for the full processing, right? Usually what we'll do is we will execute the script in the non-business hours. So we generally do never process the full cube in business hours. We do it after the business hour that is in the non-business hours. And how do we execute the script? We go to the query and execute, okay? As it is a XMLA script, we have to go to query and execute script. So we have executed the script again for the full processing and it has processed the full cube again. Now, let us close this. Now, what after the full cube processing? We have to then every time process the cube incrementally, right? So for that, we go to the process default option. Default option is for incremental processing of data. So for the default option also, we can go to change settings and during incremental processing, we will generally go by sequential and process in separate transactions, okay? So we want the processing to be done in separate transactions and that too sequentially during incremental load. Also, we can similarly specify values for ignoring error, right? Or some error specific configurations. And we can generate the script. So this is the script for incremental processing. So it is indicated by process default. So this is for the incremental processing. Now, usually we like to schedule this script to run automatically in background after every few hours, right? So how to do this? We can do this with the help of jobs. That is SQL Server Agent Jobs. So let us create a new job. Let us provide a name for the job. SSAS Incremental Processing. Let us go to steps. Let us create a new step. 
let us provide a name for the step SSAS incremental processing step 1 now the type of this job will be command it is SQL server analysis services command okay and we will require the script right so for the server name let's go to connect tab and let's copy the connection string for the server analysis server and let us specify the analysis server name over here now we will require the script so let's go back and copy pay, copy our script again this is xml script so we have copied it and we will paste it over here and remember this is a of type command as analysis services command now the job is almost configured let us specify a schedule let us specify a new schedule so let's name the schedule SSAS incremental schedule 1 okay we want this to be a recurring schedule and we want this to execute daily after every 6 hours right so let's configure that okay and optionally we can also specify notifications if we want to receive emails on job success or failures right so almost everything is configured for the job so a job is the last one SSAS incremental processing the only problem with this job is right now it is configured to run under the default service account and this is not a good security practice so it should ideally run under a sql server analysis services command proxy right so how to do this so first of all let's go to security logins we already have a login for administrator which has got the necessary privileges so let's go to credentials let's create a new credential let's name the credential so ssas credit incremental credential and for the identity we will specify the windows login name that we want this credential to use let's specify the password okay so we have created the credential with the help of login now with the help of credential we will create proxy so let's go to proxies let's create a new proxy let's name the proxy this time we will create the proxy of type sql server analysis services command okay let's provide the credential which we have just created so this is the credential so let's provide it now the type of this credential will be sql services command so let's click that okay now our job has been configured so now let's go to the job and let's execute the job let's see once again see the properties so everything is configured properly it has been configured okay we have not set the proxy right so let us set the proxy okay so now it will run with the help of our newly created proxy account right so now everything is configured properly for the job it will not run under, under default service account it will run under the proxy that we have created so now let's go to the job and let's execute the job so as we can see the job has executed successfully let's go to its history let's maximize so we can see that the job has executed successfully okay and it has executed with the help of administrator windows login that we have just specified with the help of proxy and credentials right so i hope friends this video tutorial on how to schedule sql server analysis services incremental processing is useful to you thank you